Here and welcome back to another Fortnite video. Now, I do have a previous video I'm talking about the Xbox One PC crossplay. A couple of people basically are having a few questions about how they link their account, um, how you send out friend invites, just different things. So, we're just going to go ahead and revisit that. What we're going to do is we're going to go and start from a brand new profile on the console. We'll actually show you how to go through every single step. Now, if you already have an existing account, we're going to get to that too um, later on in the video. But first of all, we're gonna just going to base it on the actual brand new profile. So, what it is is we're going to have the galactic lime that's the profile i created this is the first time playing fortnite and what we're going to do is there's given basically three different options we can either sign up for an epic account log in or no thanks i'm just going to click on the actual sign up one to start with we'll go through explain exactly what needs to be done on each and every single process here it's fairly simple um once it actually goes to create account it's going to open up your web browser and you're going to be faced basically with the user agreement Fairly simple for the user agreement. I mean, we all should probably read it. Probably nobody actually does. Just the terms of service. Just a bunch of jib-jab basically that's in there. Like I said, it's probably something important we should all probably read. But I don't actually know anybody that does take the time to read a fully um, full contract on the actual game itself. So all you're going to do is go ahead, click agree. Once you click agree, you're going to be faced with the create account. You're going to fill out all your information, first name, last name. Display name, email, and then you're going to go ahead and accept it. Obviously, too, you're going to need a password. As for your display name, that's going to be the name you're going to use on your Epic Games account. So that's going to be what people send the friend invites to. So we're just going to go ahead. We didn't actually stay there. We're going to just pick no thanks on the bottom. Um, just as you'll not be able to link your account in the future if you receive without signing up or logging in. I'm just going to collect no thanks. Play Fortnite still just to show you guys basically the procedure here. Once we click on that, we'll actually be entered into the game itself. Now there is the end user agreement there that you're going to have to agree to. You're going to log in basically. It'll take a couple seconds probably to load up. We're going to go to Battle Royale and then you can see there's my Galactic Lime. Now in the settings itself, some people are saying they are not getting the one setting below the streamer mode to allow crossplay. Until you actually accept a friend invite, you will not get that. I didn't say a friend invite, but a party. You will not get that. That's actually not available on there. So what we're going to do now, I'm just using incognito mode. Just the easiest way to sign up for certain accounts because of the fact that browsers remember your history, basically. So we're going to go to Fortnite.com, which is actually EpicGames.com, I believe. We're going to go over to the right hand side here where the little guy is. Now, there's three different sign in types. There's Epic Games that you have on PC, PlayStation. And then the last one will be Xbox. We're just going to click on the Xbox one. What it actually does is you're going to put in your Microsoft details. And this way you can actually sign up through your Microsoft account. Now, once you actually fill out your information, click on sign in, you'll just have to go ahead and click yes for this. This is basically just giving the Epic Games um, permission to access your Xbox Live account information. So it can associate the two. Now on here, basically, you're going to fill out your first name, last name. This is the display name underneath. It does say display name. That's going to be the one that actually people send your friend invites to and how people are going to try and join into your party. That'll be the name that's presented to them. Now, obviously, your email is below and then you'll have to have a password. And then all you're going to do is save changes. Now, once you have all this information filled out, basically, what you're going to be doing is this is on the EpicGames.com account information. And because we actually associated our Xbox console already and it's already linked here. Now, if you don't have it linked, what you're gonna have to do is sign into your Epic Games account. You're gonna have to make one. What you're gonna have to do is in the center spot for Xbox, you will have to click on there, fill out your information for the Xbox, same way as done for the PS4. So now we are back on the Xbox console. As you can see, even though I've done all that stuff, streamer mode is still not, that's the last thing that's actually on the list. We do not have any more information on the bottom. And that's not gonna happen until we actually accept a friend request from somebody and then they try and join our lobby from a different party. So now we're actually on the PC itself. This is Lime Guy. So this is the actual PC version of the Epic Games Launcher. You will need to use Epic Games Launcher to add friends and also um, basically send the friend request and to accept it. Now, basically this up here says add friend. Now I'm putting in Galactic Lime. That's the one I actually set up for my Epic Games account. We're going to go ahead and send that. And then as you can see here, the outgoing is Galactic Lime. So now what we need to do is sign in with our Xbox profile. So I'm just going to sign out. Now, this is necessary. Console players, this step is needed to accept friends. There's no way around it for the time being. Obviously, maybe they might add something in the future, but for the time being, it's not going to work. So now we're on Galactic Lime. 
you can actually see on the right hand corner there was something there that comes up tells you there's a friend request we're going to click on friend request friend request click accept and now we are actually friends so that's it for the actual uh console you do not need to have this open at any point in time so what we can do now i just have it running basically we're going to start up both on the xbox and the pc have the versions running on both of them and basically what you're going to do is go into battle royale and just sit in the lobby on the xbox console so this is on the pc currently what we're going to actually do i'll just quickly show you here this is battle royale on the xbox and there we are we're just basically sitting in the lobby waiting so we're going to go back to the pc version so this will be if your friend's trying to send you an invite fairly simple now from there you can basically just click on the friends tab up top and as you can see galactic lime it shows up there we're going to click on the name and then join party now as you can see on the pc version it shows that we're already partied together on the xbox version usually what happens is it does stay cross pl cross platform now available so what you're going to have to do accept it there now i realize some people are actually missing this step no now i don't know if you're not associated with an account properly or something but what you're gonna have to do is just go back make sure sign into your account on epic games make sure everything's enabled there if not it's actually a problem basically epic games they'll have to actually figure out what the situation here is and now you can see that i've accepted it on both parties basically we are in each other's games so this one here shows galactic lime and then the other one shows lime and as you can see now once i've done that on the xbox console on the very very bottom it does say allow cross-platform parties so if you're missing that then like i said it could be that you're missing a step somewhere or it could be that epic games is still messed up somewhere and they're going to have to fix um send out a patch or something to enable it for everybody so anyways i hope this actual little tutorial has helped you guys out maybe just explain a couple things more more detail for you um so anyways i will have another video coming up soon to talk about sound between players um between the xbox and the pc so anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like comment subscribe and we'll talk to you guys soon bye for now